If you're a video editor and you've never heard of QWE and IOP, then throw your blade tool in the trash and listen up. Now, I've been a video editor for over six years, and I feel like I kind of know my way around things, but I've decided in 2023, I'm gonna be leveling up my own workflows to become a faster, more efficient video editor. As I've gone down this journey, I've discovered two amazing hacks that'll speed up your workflow, save you time, save you money, and get edits done faster. The first tip is QWE. So what we're gonna do for Q is we are gonna set that to basically cut off anything to the left of where you have your playhead on a clip. So if your playhead is here and you hit Q, anything to the left is gonna get cut off and that clip is immediately gonna slide into place. W, we are gonna set to split the clip at the playhead. So that's basically the equivalent of taking your blade tool and clicking on a clip. E, we are gonna set to cut everything to the right of the playhead off, and it's gonna slide all those clips to the right of it into place right next to it. Those keys are right next to each other on a keyboard. So it's super easy to just have your fingers there and be cutting the left off, cutting the right off, splitting this clip, and everything is kind of sliding into place for you. It's gonna save you time switching from your select tool to your blade tool and sliding clips around and making sure that things line up. It's just a much more efficient, faster way to cut clips. Now for IOP. For my personal workflow, I always wanna build a selects timeline. So what this means is I'm gonna take every clip of footage and watch every single second from an event or a shoot and take the best moments and put them on a separate timeline. And I use that timeline to actually build my edit. So instead of taking your clips and putting them on the timeline and chopping them up there and sliding things around, it's much more efficient if you actually take those clips from the bin watch them through and use the in, out, and insert functions to put that footage into your timeline. So I, we are gonna set to our in function, O, we're gonna set to the out function, and then P, we're gonna set to insert if you're using Adobe Premiere Pro, or append to end if you're using DaVinci Resolve. This lets you watch those clips back, set an in point, set an out point, and insert that into the timeline. And it's super fast because once again, those three keys are right next to each other. In, out, insert, in, out, insert. And you can just go through all of your footage and find those specific moments, find those best moments, and send that down to either your selects timeline or if you're sending it directly into your edit timeline. It's just so much faster and saves you so much time when you're watching a batch of footage and building either a selects or an edit timeline. So you might be saying, how did you not know this? You've been editing for so long, this is rookie stuff. Well, if I didn't know it, there's probably somebody else out there that didn't know it either. So hopefully these couple tips can help you become a faster and more efficient video editor. I'm gonna put everything that you need to do for both Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve down in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will see you all in it.